Hi, I am so excited. I have a friend of mine in the kitchen with me. Well, she's not really in the kitchen. She's kind of in the kitchen. This is Sandy Amaya. Sandy's one of the admins in our Facebook group and she's joining us and she is going to walk me through one of her recipes. Everything she makes looks fantastic. I'm like saving up my money so I can fly out to see her and eat dinner with her at her house that she cooks. She doesn't know that yet. But we're going to make picadilla. I think that's right. And the Wi-Fi just messed up. Picadilla. Okay. Okay. I'm going to put you right here. Sandy's going to be right there while I'm cooking. And um, she's going to walk me through this. So what she told me to do, I'm going to use some beef I got from my butcher box. And this is thinly sliced grass-fed beef, and I'm excited to use it. I have not used it before. So new recipe that I'm making. Now what Sandy has told me to do, I'm gonna cut this open of 12 ounces, and this is from Butcher Box. I'm excited to try this out. But Sandy's told me to put it in the pan with some water, whoops, with some water, and we're gonna boil it. Usually you would use sli uh, shredded beef for this, and this is kind of like that. Wow, it's sizzling up already. Let me add a little water. And you're gonna use about a quarter of a cup of water, or a third, just enough to keep it sizzling. And I'm gonna open the other package. So this is 100% grass-fed beef. Like I said, I've been excited to try this. Um, so this is provided to me by ButcherBox. This is great shaved beef. This would be really, really good for Philly cheesesteaks. Um, but we're going to make picadilla. And I hope I'm saying that right. We're having a hard time with the video um, right now. Now what Sandy has told me to do is to let this cook so it's going to simmer and kind of boil a bit. And then once it's done, we'll put some more seasonings. I'm going to rinse my hands and I'm going to add salt and pepper and garlic to it. Okay, so I rinsed my hands and we have the beef browning up. It's in some water boiling. We're going to add salt, pepper, and garlic. Right, Sandy? Right. Okay, and I'm going to call this, I'm not measuring, I'm going to get people asking questions. I'm going to call this a quarter of a teaspoon of salt. It may be a little more. And then I'm going to put pepper. Just do a couple grinds of fresh pepper. Okay. Okay. And then garlic pepper, I, garlic powder, I better measure this. I get heavy handed. I'm going to use about a teaspoon of the garlic. Sandy was telling me earlier, we had a bit of a chance to chat and she said, I don't like to use a lot of seasonings because I like to let kind of the natural flavor come through. And I thought that's pretty smart of her. Okay. So we're going to let this boil. And while this is going, what Sandy's told me to do is let the beef go. And I've got it on high. Once it's done, I'm going to remove it to another bowl. And then we're going to do put some vegetables in it. And so the vegetables I think I have ready. Picadillo, by the way, is what we're making. That's what she's telling me. And we're going to make a chili sauce to go with it. I'm really excited about that chili sauce. But I've chopped up one whole onion. It's been a small onion, but one whole onion for that. One jalapeno. She told me to use pepper. And I said, bell pepper? And Sandy is the real deal. And she's like, not bell pepper, jalapeno. <laughs> but she was very kind. Jalapenos are <laughs> And I am in the south, but I'm not that far south. So I'm thinking sweet bell pepper. And she's like, no, jalapeno. And then I said, do I have to leave the seeds in? And so she told me it was okay for this one time. And then we have one chopped Roma tomato that we'll throw in next. So let me let this simmer. Sandy and I are going to chat a little bit, and then I'll be back when the beef is done. Okay, so Sandy tells me that while the beef is browning, I need to make the chili sauce. And so to make the chili sauce, I have tomatillas, and they look like this in the grocery store, and you just take, you peel the husk off, and that's what I've done. So we're gonna drop in there, let's see, I've got five. I'm gonna peel two more, because um, Sandy tells me that peeling the husk off and putting the tomatilla in is what makes it not spicy, right? Right. <laughs> okay. So she said you peel it off, you rinse them, and um, throw it in there. So that's what we're doing. I didn't rinse that one, don't tell on me. And then we're gonna throw in the jalapeno. 
and you can put they like it spicy at her house because they do the real thing and i am going to put in this is a quarter of a small onion and i'm going to put in these are three large jalapeno and actually i'm going to put in the seventh of the tomatillo that's right and while i have it i'll do another um, jalapeno and I'm putting the whole thing in this is big for me not seeding it makes me nervous Sandy I'll just tell you but I'm put it in there and there's just enough water to kind of cover it I'm gonna put a little bit more so it's now kind of barely covered hi <laughs> Sandy's kids are there her kids are popping in garlic don't forget the garlic I've got the fresh garlic right here and so a clove I got some tomatillo husk in there let me pull that out so a clove of garlic and is that it that's all I put no salt pepper no no salt and pepper no salt and pepper okay so I've got this boiling and you just boil until it changes colors Yes. <laughs> okay. David is so excited. He's like clapping his hands. He loves Mexican food. And so this is, he's like, you're making what? Um, all right. So the beef is brown now. This is simmering. And you said just let it go until it changes colors, right? That's right. Sandy cooks like I do, I have a feeling, because she's she sent me the recipe and she said, add salt, add pepper, um, add peppers, add onion, and I'm going, how much? <laughs> so it reminded me a lot of myself. And then when I said, how much water? And she said, just kind of cover it. So I'm gonna let that boil and I will take the beef up and then we'll put the vegetables in, saute the vegetables, right? Right, saute the veggies. Okay, so let me switch by themselves. by themselves. I understand. I screwed this up before, so she's telling me do the veggies by themselves. So let me move this to the back burner so it can continue to simmer. I'll pull the beef over. Am I video? Okay, I'll pull the beef over, and the beef is done. Okay. Wow, that was quick. It was quick. Well, I screwed up the sauce so much. But this is just nicely shaved beef. And see, uh, Sandy said that they use shredded beef quite a bit. So that would work for this too. And the shredded beef looks great. Um, I'm going to put it in this bowl. I wish you were here to smell this. It smells so good. I wish I was there too. <laughs> I have a feeling if Sandy was here, she would push me totally out of the way and just say, let me cook this the right way, lady. <laughs> and I'm sorry I've got my back. So well. <laughs> <laughs> she just said, if you didn't hear, she said, you know me so well. Um, so yeah, I have a feeling she cooks like me. So now I would do the same thing. If I were her, I would say, get out of my way. So our beef is done. Our um, chili sauce is simmering on the back stove, and now we've got some bacon fat in my cast iron skillet, and I'm going to add some vegetables to that. I've added some onion. I'm going to add the rest of one small onion. You hear the sizzle? And I'm going to add one chopped jalapeno with most of the seeds removed, and then one small Roma tomato. I've not done the carb count on this, but really not a lot of veggies to worry about. Now, to this, do I want salt, pepper? What am I adding to this, Sandy? So, to the vegetables, you can add some garlic. Okay. Add some garlic. Add the so you don't need anything else. Okay. It's so interesting because when I'm making anything like this, I generally probably throw in too many spices. I want to put in cumin and I want to throw in all kinds of things. I'm going to put just a little bit of garlic. I can't resist. But I was a tiny bit, I promise. Now what I love if, garlic. I do too. I do too. <laughs> I do too. It keeps the vampires away. Now what about salt and pepper? I don't need salt and pepper for this. It's already on the beef. Okay, it's already on the beef. She says don't do it. Now, I'm just going to saute these onions until they're kind of tender, or these vegetables until they're tender, right? Yes, that's right. 
okay? And after the veggies are tender, I'm going to add the beef back in, and then I'm going to keep stirring the chili sauce, and then I will strain it, puree the vegetables that have been in the chili sauce, and then throw it all together, right? Oh, I'm so, okay, I can do this. Let me grab another spoon so that I can give a stir to the chili sauce. Okay, and that's looking so good. Oops, my door, I wondered what was touching me. I thought I was a kid behind me. Okay, let me saute this. Now these vegetables are tender. Are they supposed to brown at all? The onion and the pepper, the jalapeno and the um, tomato? Or are they just supposed to get tender? Well, you don't want them too brown because you're going to add the beef and then let them uh, saute with the beef. So they're going to get a little more caramelized or kind of disappear. Ah, I see. Okay. So now Sandy's telling me that when these get just kind of tender and not overcooked, to add the beef in and cook it all together. So let me do that. Man, and this beef looks great. This is from Butcher Box. Can't wait to try it. It is tender. It's grass-fed beef. I was a little concerned about it um, not being tender, but it sure seems like it's going to be fine. Okay, oh, it smells amazing. Okay. I wish you were here too. Okay, so at this point, I'm gonna I'm sorry? So, well, now that the beef is in the pan, you want to lower the heat. Okay. Okay, so I've lowered the heat. She said once the beef is in the pan, you want to lower the heat. And you can work on the, on the chili sauce. Now work on the chili sauce, okay. Now these, I'm not sure that this sauce is ready to be worked on. I have to ask you about it. The tomatillos, let me move things around. The um, tomatillos are kind of turning, instead of a bright, sunny spring green, the tomatillos are turning more of a dull, kind of, I've, uh, a dull green. Is that right? Is that normal? How do I know when the veggies are done? Ah, yes, that's a great way to describe it. Sandy said they turn into an, um, an army green, and that's exactly what's happening. Now, I didn't have them fully covered with water, so there are kind of light green bits, but what about the jalapenos? They also turn into kind of a dull camouflage green? Yes, they do. Okay, well, let me pause there. I don't think these are quite ready. Let me give them another five minutes, and then we'll make the chili sauce. Okay, so Sandy and I are still cooking. We've got the beef and the onions on low heat back here, and they're just kind of getting to know each other a little bit. And then I'm going to make the chili sauce. So Sandy has told me just to let the tomatillos, everything go until the tomatillos become, or tomatillos become um, army green. I know I'm saying that wrong. The same thing for the jalapenos. And I didn't put, I don't think I put enough water in there because that one is still kind of green looking, but I'm gonna leave in there. And she basically told me I could strain the water from the vegetables. Okay, can you see what I'm doing? She's watching me. I've, <laughs> I've moved the iPad so that she can see what I'm doing. And um, I've made some mistakes along the way, right Sandy? Okay, and now we're just going to put this into the Ninja. I think it'll all fit. I hope so. Um, man, this smells so good. Okay. And I may have to do it a little at a time so I don't overwhelm my Ninja. And then Sandy told me to add a pinch of cilantro. And so we're going to go with about a tablespoon of cilantro just at the end. And so let's do this, and I'll add the rest of that. You could use a blender, something bigger. So hold your ears. Um, and she said, don't over-process it. It should be, it should be chunky, whoops, right? It should be chunky, and this is why Ninja says, 
Don't yeah. put hot things in the blender. Okay. <laughs> now let's put the rest of this in here. And she told me if I needed water, just to use fresh water, not to use the um, the water from the um, from the pot that we boiled it in. And I'm like, but that's got all the flavor. I want to use that. All right, I'm going to do just a little bit more. And again, she said, don't over puree. This is so much fun. Okay. All right. All right, I think this looks gorgeous. It smells amazing. So go ahead and add water and salt and then pro process it again. All right, add water and how much water, how much salt? Because there it is, it's this um, thick. Uh, it is very thick, so add about um, three ounces of water. Okay. And salt to taste. I don't know, like a, <laughs> maybe a, tea, a quarter of a teaspoon. She's telling me, <laughs> she's telling me add um, three, two ounces of water, three ounces of water, and salt to taste. So that is dangerous. Now, Okay, so you don't think I should leave it like this? You think it does need to be thinned? Yes, it needs it needs to be processed more. Okay, needs to be processed more. I'm gonna use this. All right. <laughs> I have to use this. I'm not good at following Is it the water that you put it in? Mm -mm. <laughs> She said, "Is that the water you kicked it in?" I said, "Mm mm." All right. Let's try it again. There we go. All right. How's this look? Is this right yet? Ah, okay. It's looking good. Is it too thick? Oh, man. That is so good. Some got on my hand and I had to try it. It's like this. Is that too thick? Does it look right? Okay, it's about, yes. it's like a very thin pudding. Is that right? Right. Oh, yay, we got it right. Okay, so now we're gonna take this chili sauce and let me turn that off and let me turn this burner on. And now we just pour it over the meat and vegetables, right? Okay, I'm gonna pour, oh, this is so pretty. You've got the green and all the vegetables. And I just stir it around? Just stir it around and then um, add just a little bit of water if, if it okay. looks too thick. It's pretty thick. And you, uh, Sandy was kind enough to send me a picture. I'm going to put water in this. Um, Sandy sent me a picture to show me kind of what it should look like. It's not soup, but it's pretty thin. So I'm adding water to this. Oh man, I'll show you in a second what it looks like, okay? This looks so stinking good. I can't wait to try it. Now what, I just let it simmer? Just let it simmer and taste it for salt. Okay. Oh man. Okay, this is gonna be so good. All right, hang on a second. I'm gonna let you take a peek. How does it look? That looks good. You might want to add more water to that. Okay, she's saying it looks good, but add more water. And I'll do it. Let me get a little more water. Okay, a little more water. And now how, do I let it go? Is it ready to serve? Like when it's all warm, is it it's good? It's not ready. Sandy says, Okay, she says let it come to a boil. It has to come to a boil, and then um, once it's boiling, you can, um, if it tastes good, you can turn it off and set it on the side. Yum, okay. Well, I can't wait. I'm too impatient. And David has gone to run Grace somewhere, so it's just me, so I get to try it. So I'm going to put it in the dish. Oh, man. And it's bubbling. It's simmering. It's really not like to a boil. Um, but it's simmering. So, man, this looks so good. I wish you were here. This is picadillo, right? Yes, picadillo. Picadillo. And picadillo. 
It is perfect. What'd you like to <laughs> This is so good. I need some more salt. She told me to taste her salt. So it does need more salt, but this is fantastic. I cannot wait to serve this to my family. Now, because it's so wet, Sandy said, don't put sour cream with it. You can serve it with a slice of cheese. Um, she said that guac avocado would be great to serve it with. And I have some avocado. I might sprinkle a little more fresh cilantro over the top because we love cilantro at our house. But this is, this just tastes like, and Sandy, this is a recipe that you serve your family, right? It is, and they love it. <laughs> Sandy says she makes this for her family and they love it, and I can see why. If you make for this for your family, I hope that they enjoy it too. Mmm. Thank you, Sandy.